Hi everyone, it's uh, Mark from Discover D-Day here. I um, hope you enjoyed that first video on um, our foot locker display. The second part of that will be coming up very, very shortly um, with some interesting stories and artifacts to show you. So sit back and enjoy. So once the uh, lid comes out, which is uh, over there at the moment, uh, you can see it reveals a whole load of other bits and pieces inside the bottom of the box. Bits and pieces I've just put up there to show you and some other bits of paperwork that we have here that we'll run through. This is only a small part of what's in there. So bits of paperwork first of all so I can remove these from the front. Got a scrapbook of Army and Navy humour. The uh, Americans are very big on paperwork. Um, the soldiers were given a lot of training manuals and things and a lot of information and paperwork. Obviously there wasn't emails and text messages and WhatsApps and things like that in those days. So this is what the soldiers had to put up with. So there's a GI guide to camp activities there. Okay, we have here pocket guide to Paris and the cities of northern France. A German language guide here. They obviously had them as well in Spanish, French and lots of other countries. Time magazine, small version. Aircraft of the United States Army. A little postcard there. Okay. Little red book, dated 1944. The American Red Cross map of Paris. And again, in one of our other videos, we'll have a bit more of a chat about that. It's a very interesting map that because it was reprinted onto a German army map of the coast of France. So they reused the paper and printed out a map of Paris to give to the American soldiers. A New York Port of Embarkation certificate here. Just to say that he returned. And uh, there's the cities of southern France. Obviously the uh, soldiers landed in northern France on D-Day. So that book would have been given to the soldiers that, oper that landed in northern France. And this book was given to the soldiers who landed in southern France. Okay. So here we have some of the uh, books, the field manuals that were given to the troops uh, so they could learn all the different bits and pieces that they needed to when they were back at uh, their bunks. So there's the soldier's individual paybook, the basic field manual on military courtesy and discipline, motor transport, the soldier's handbook, the basic field manual of infantry drill regulations. We then have the canteen club room for service men and service women. A uh, little booklet there on what about girls, teaching the soldiers about uh, the women that they might meet. And then uh, looking into the box, we have various items in here. So we have a mess tin. This was issued to all the troops and inside you will find knife, fork and spoon. This would have been used by the troops with this on the handle here and they would have held that get those out of the way. They would have gone up for their meals like this and had the meals issued to them in there or you could just use this section here to hold over the fire, heat up your rations inside there or heat up water for a cup of tea. Then you would have your canteen mug, like this, which would have your water bottle inside in there. And again, we'll cover this sort of thing later on. The handle here, which would go like that. So that position there, you could then use this to lock that. And then you had a cup there to drink from. Okay. Nice little 
hole here and a hole here. You could put your knife inside there and actually hold it a bit further onto the fire if you needed to, if it was getting a bit warm. Here we go, we have a nice little souvenir here from the Battle of the Bulge. So we're talking Belgium, Holland, nice little Dutch clog that we have there. A few bits of paperwork, purity of thought. This is quite uh, a rare document, this one. This is a small booklet that was given by the churches to the soldiers as they went onto the boats in America to come over to the UK or England then as it was. Um, it's just a little thing that was given to them by the churches. Most of the troops would have thrown it overboard from the boat or used it as note paper or something like that. So they're quite rare to actually find these. This one was given to the, by the Lutheran Church, Missouri Synod. So quite a rare item that. Nice short guide to Great Britain, which was given to the troops. These are uh, quite entertaining to read about what to do when you go in a pub, go into a shop, how to treat the locals with respect, that kind of thing. It's a nice little booklet. And again, if you want to read them even more about that, America and Britain, a mutual introduction. Nice book there. So again, in your Foot Locker, you would have had socks a couple of uh, pairs of these if not more so these are a nice pair of original socks they don't smell too good they're ready to go there k rations so for your three k ration boxes which we have here in the box you would have had a box for breakfast this would have had your rations in for the day um, three per day breakfast dinner and supper and again we'll cover these in greater detail later on in another video on this side here it tells you what they used to have inside the breakfast tin there chewing gum mainly in cigarettes all the bits and pieces there then you would have had your dinner again another box here and your supper Another box here. Like that. Later on in the war, they were obviously decorated with bits and pieces. Earlier in the war, they were just cardboard boxes with just supper written on them, no other information. Nice little K ration boxes there. Okay, so further into the box, and we have tins. We have a tin here of Dubbin. There we go, finally found out what it is. Dub in again for your boots, waterproofer for your boots. And here we have impregnate for shoes, for use, hand impregnation of shoes. So this again was to protect your shoes from gas and water. It's a heavier version than dubbing, more of a specialist thing. Here we go, nice box from home. Jane Todd's homemade sweets from Calais in Maine. And inside this box, we have some Menin brushless shaving cream. That was the original one in the box. And Mole brushless shaving cream. There we go, special services package. Those are in there. Again, another book. This one is uh, Hubert, Cartoons, American Army Newspaper, Stars and Stripes. And you have here some eye shields, protective eye shields, original in the box. So in there. These were mainly for gas or dust, but they were used by the paratroopers over their eyes when they jumped out of the planes because obviously there was a lot of pressure from the wind and the air as they jumped out from the prop wash so those you see modern day paratroopers now jumping with their eye protection as well so a nice first aid kit there 
here we have turn it around the right way protective cover individual this was a gas cape basically dated 1944 you pull the red tab here and then use it as a cape to wrap yourself up and put your gas mask on and that would stop any gas coming into you and uh, protecting you uh, another item we have here this is a light for drop bags that were dropped on the parachutes so rations they would have had a different color this one's amber uh, they would have a different color for each different item so rations um, first aid equipment um, munitions all that kind of stuff would have had a different color light so when they dropped at night as you can see just here there's a switch with a piece of cardboard in it that was pulled off it was attached to the plane as it dropped that piece of cardboard was pulled out and uh, made a contact and oh, we'll give it a go not sure whether it'll work or not if i pull that no battery must have run out well it is quite old over 75 years old so that little piece of cardboard would have come out and made contact with the light the lights would come on so you'd be able to find it in the dark you'd be able to find your rations ammunition or weapons like that okay what else have we got in here some fruit cake tin of fruit cake there we go i don't know uh, whether that would taste any good we have here then a wash roll so a wash roll would have had all your bits and pieces in we undo that and put that up there there we go so you would have your towel what else have we got here so your soap soap in a dish comb toothbrush holder with that uh, toothbrush in there we go nice original toothbrush there okay that would go into there what else have we got in here some foot powder Keep your feet nice and clean and dry a razor should have been in there we're going to open that up there we go so your razor in there okay and then in this side here we have a bottle of squib tooth powder so they really wouldn't have had toothpaste it would have been tooth powder really put that inside your mouth probably with your finger or with your toothbrush okay that's your kit so nice bottle here of a uh, VAT 69 Scottish whiskey. True for I love that kind of thing. Souvenir Luftwaffe officer's knife. A little pack here, which is a kit for your gas mask, for waterproofing your gas mask. There's bits and pieces in there. And then more paperwork. So we've got a discharge certificate issued by the president of the uh, united states of america some sheet music uh, some newspapers from the time this uh, is from the 6th of june i believe yeah this is from 6th of june there we go 1944 churchill announces successful massed air landings behind enemy in france 4,000 ships thousands of smaller vessels so far all goes to plan there you go nice newspaper there uh, another nice collection of letters these are very very interesting to read these letters very they really do sort of set the scene of the period so we've got one there from the women's army corps dated april the 8th 1944 and uh, as you can see a nice larger letters there very different things always well always good to read that sort of thing um now a very interesting thing coming up here so here we have a first aid cover if i can get it in the, the proper light as you can see that was the first aid cover issued in america okay and if you look at the post date you can see it was sent on june the 6th 1944 at 5 p.m so 5 p.m on d-day in america obviously allowing for time difference this was sent to somebody 
there we go so they obviously knew it was going to happen but they uh, had all the artwork ready to go and uh, if I turn it over there's actually another one inside there we go and this one is dated June the 5th June the 5th p.m. 1944 there we go obviously that's not promoting D-Day because uh, it was top secret there we go nice little item there nice uh, picture go magazine red riding hood obviously the, uh, the boys were into their blighty nice little newspaper there and then in the bottom here we have some maps some more eye shields and boxes who me which is quite uh, an interesting little cartoon book that was done by one of the soldiers as you can see in there it's his uh, his trip through the war done with nice little illustrations another interesting little booklet there that we have in the collection okay then have uh, some Christmas cards these again were sold in the PX stations and these two here are for Merry Christmas 1944 so the sort of thing that these soldiers would have bought during the Battle of the Bulge and uh, written letters home to their loved ones you see quite patriotic with the flags and then the soldier with the local children on his knee uh, obviously they were fighting quite heavily in the Battle of the Bulge during that period um, nice little booklet here meet the US Army okay I put them in protective covers because when we go out on show sometimes we're outside and uh, I've had a few items damaged by just spots of rain and it's very difficult to get all this equipment stowed away so I put plastic covers on everything now um, service record book here and uh, then just some bits and pieces official federate war ballot via email here okay and uh, just a few other bits of paperwork in there so yeah lots of uh, lots of things happen in this um, Foot Locker of ours um, I hope you enjoyed that and uh, as I say we normally take this round to schools and old people's homes and uh, take it to exhibitions show people what's what and uh, you usually get very good feedback so I uh, hope you enjoyed it hi again everybody I uh, hope you enjoyed the videos that we're showing you uh, please do like and subscribe to the channel on YouTube uh, you can visit our Facebook page Discover D-Day or you can visit our website uh, www.discoverdday.net um, so I hope you're enjoying the videos and uh, looking forward to the next one see you soon